Hello and welcome to another Doctor's Assistant 1 video and today I'm doing another behind the scenes so far um, of the first part to Runaway Girl which is also the first episode to um, series 6 of my figure adventures so that's pretty cool um, yeah uh, so what um, should I tell you um, well this character or this person or action figure person is officially dead. Um, what this guy did, or Pig Slave did, uh, was snap their neck, and so they're dead. But ironically, so is the uh, Pig Slave figure. So yeah, uh, we've got about two deaths in the first part, that's pretty cool. Um, I guess, yeah, my, my figure adventures are steeped in death, which is kind of weird really, considering that the show isn't really, or the new series isn't steeped in as much death. Um, so yeah, if you didn't already know, when he was saying, we need a lockdown and everything, those figures decided to fall over. But I tried and ignored that and just panned on his face. So yeah, uh, we're introduced to Alex and we're going to be introduced to James, or Jamie, um, uh, this character as well. And that, and we've got this pig slave who we haven't really been... We we don't really know much about the pig slaves. Basically, the pig slaves in this story, uh, the runaway girl, are basically just um, uh, basically just the idea is that they're basically the uh, boss dude's henchmen. And obviously, if you haven't guessed it, this is the boss dude, um, and this isn't even the proper boss dude. So there's going to be a plot twist. I'm not going to tell you anything, but yeah. Uh, but the, I just decided that the cliffhanger should be that it was the David Tennant figure, if you couldn't already tell when I had it that way anyway. Um, ironically, when I was trying to look through action figures that I had that were humanoid, i.e. people, but were normal people looking, um, aside from doctors, there are really not many. You know, apart from companions, but I didn't want to use a companion figure because then people would be like, Oh my god, is that companion bad or something like that, you know, or something like that and stuff like that. But yeah, um, but aside from the editor, that's literally the only other figure I could have used. But I already used him uh, in some of my older ones, so in the Spirits and in the uh, Red Planet Project. So people would be like, oh no, the that guy's coming back, even though he does die in Red Planet Project. So that's why. Uh, you know, so even though I've used this figure as um, uh, Arnold, I think it was in Red Planet Project, this is obviously a different character, even though it's the same uh, figure. Uh, this is the businessman who owns the sort of like mining corporation on Ragnarok, and that. And yeah, he's not a very pleasant person, as you can tell, because he's incinerated one of his employees, uh, and that with this like pretend incineration beam thing that just kills him. Because apparently he let the uh, uh, the Doctor escape when actually it was this guy. So yeah, so yeah, the Doctor's escaped and that and uh, and yeah, he's on the run and uh, and yeah, there's uh, two. Well, there's three mining workers at the minute. They may get another one since uh, obviously this one's dead because she was all like, I don't want to work, and then gets a you know neck snapped off and whatnot. So yeah. Um, obviously, as I've said many a times, uh, if people watch these, um, please don't watch these and then watch my figure adventures. Watch the figure adventure episode or part to that story and then watch this. Because it'd be kind of silly. It's like if the uh, Doctor Who team released BBC Extra um, exactly before, oh, at the same time as they released uh, the TV show. And then you watch the extra first, and then the TV show, which would be just silly, to be honest. But yeah, personally, but yeah. Um, I am going to be using the Billy Piper action figure again in my next episode. But obviously, if you ever see figures, um, or side character figures, um, as, as uh, again, they're usually... I'm usually using them again, but as different characters. So please don't be like, oh, this is this character from that episode. Not always. Uh, if I wanted it to be the same character, I would definitely make, you know, a big deal about it. So I'd be like, and my name is Arild, or whatever, you know, connecting it to uh, Red Planet Project. Even though that would be a bit of a continuity uh, error on my part, because as... 
people should know, hopefully, um, Arnold or whatever his name is, character, basically the editor, action figures, side henchman, kind of just gets his, gets killed anyway. Both, both the editor and Arnold die at the hands of the Autons. So yeah, they're pretty ruthless in Red Planet Project. So yeah, uh, if you haven't seen that, uh, ep episode of My Figure Adventures and it sounds awesome uh, to you guys and girls then go check it out wherever on my YouTube channel. So yeah, uh, Red Planet Project, what did I think? I think it went pretty well. It's got to a certain point which I can definitely build upon uh, on the next three parts. Yes, it's only going to be a four part story. Um, this has to introduce a new character or new ca a lot of new characters to this to the series who might be recurring characters and uh, obviously the the War Doctor needs a companion this guy I mean the Dark Doctor I always keep saying War Doctor even though I mean to say Dark Doctor uh, because obviously in my figure adventures he's the dark or all the darkness of the Doctor embodied in a physical body so yeah the Dark Doctor basically needs a well he doesn't need a companion but if you've seen the Runaway Girl prequel, that basically is like like this idea I had, where between Dalek Civil War and Runaway Girl, the Doctor, the Dark Doctor, has been on the run, just you know, uh, you know, just saving people, just wandering around the universe for about hundred, hundred and fifty years, you know. Basically, that's like a little short, you know tour of the world, you know, when some people go off the grid, you know, when people are trying to soul search or they just want, you know, to be away from the people they usually around, you know, because they're just irritating them. They go to different countries and explore places and, and, you know, see different places to get perspective, really. And this is what, oh, the Runaway Girl prequel was that idea, but he's coming to a stop and he's just so happens to have landed on this planet with these people who are key people to the uh, series. I don't want to give too much away, but some people may know uh, some of the stuff already, so I am just a bit worried that I may be giving a bit too much away, but yeah. As I say, these pig slaves, if you're wondering, aren't going to be getting a hell of a lot of character development, if that's annoying you. And obviously, two out of... Uh, how many? One, two, three, three, four... Two out of four figures to get character development ain't too bad in the space of four parts that's not too bad you know because obviously Alex is going to get development and this character Jamie is and that um and so is this character or maybe they may get killed off they may not I don't know uh but yeah obviously there'll be more plot twists deaths and more just frantic fun to come in the upcoming part to Runaway Girl, which is obviously Runaway Girl Part 2. So stick around for that. Thanks for watching, comment, rate and subscribe.